You spent a fortune on a high powered lithium phosphate battery for your trolling motor, but what else can you do with it? That's a lot of money to invest in just one application. Well, stay tuned. If you're like me, probably the only thing you've ever used your trolling motor battery for is your trolling motor. Well, these things are expensive and it seems like a waste to only use them for that one single purpose. So I got to thinking, gee, you know, if I'm out camping in a national park with my e-bike, hitting those mountain trails looking for fish, could I recharge my battery, my e-bike battery, with the trolling motor? So I challenged Power Eurus, to, and they provided me a 100 amp hour battery to run that test. So let's go in the shop and I'll show you how I got it set up. So here's the setup. I've got my Power Eurus battery right here that has 1,280 watt hours of power. I will run that through a power inverter that's good for 500 watts. So that means that my charger should be compatible with this and not uh, overload the inverter. Now on some inverters, this one included, it says to be careful when you're using it to charge a battery and to monitor it for the first 10 minutes to make sure that it doesn't overheat. So I will do that. And then of course, I'll hook up my charger to it and that goes into my e-bike battery and we'll see if this will work. Now, this battery was charged down to, discharged down to 30%. And so I anticipate that it'll take maybe around five hours to charge up. I'll monitor it periodically of course, I'll t pay attention to it during the first 10 minutes to make sure that this does not overheat. So let's get going. I'll hook up the leads. So I've got the lead turned on. It's showing zero output, which is expected. I've got this already plugged into the battery. Now let's just plug it in. And I can look at the output in watts, and it's running about 169 watts right now. 12.7 volts input and 120 watt output. So I think I'll leave it on the watts just to kind of monitor that. And I'm going to sit here for 10 minutes and make sure that this does not overheat. The charger is showing red, which means that it is charging my e-bike battery. Let's see what happens. Well, it's been 10 minutes, and this is not hot at all. In fact, it's barely even warm enough to feel. So I think I'm good. I think this is safe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a timer on my phone, and I'll come back and check this every two hours because I want to know when this turns green which would indicate that my e-bike battery has been fully recharged. I'm about two and a half hours into the experiment, so I figured I'd put this back on the bike and just see how much juice it has absorbed. Let's see. Oh, that was freaking awesome. It was up to 100%. It must, the uh, charger must have just been in the top-off mode, and that's why it hadn't turned green yet. So I've got the battery from our other e-bike here, so let's see if there's enough juice in this thing to charge up two e-bike batteries simulating basically three days of use. The first day on the original charge, day two on the charge we just completed, and day three on what we're about to do right now. <clears throat> Looks like everything's working. I've got 175 watts coming out of here with 120 volts. I tell you, this little uh, inverter is awesome. It hasn't heated up at all. I'll put a link to it down below. This was about 60% full, so it shouldn't take as long to fill up. We're two hours into the second battery. I'm gonna go ahead and turn everything off and we'll see whether it's fully charged. Wow, that's awesome. Look, it charged it up to 100%. So the proof is in the pudding. I'm out here on the beach. I've ridden about two and a half miles and the battery indicator says 99%. So I don't think I got a false reading when I 
removed it from the charger while the charger was still red. And how do you know how many times you can recharge a battery? Well, there's a Bluetooth app that you can download that gives you access to the status of this particular battery. Looking at that, you'll know how many charges you can get out of your battery. But this battery rocks because it is robust and it charged two batteries. That's amazing. So the next time you're camping, there's no reason not to take your trolling motor battery with your e-bike as long as you have an inverter that will handle the wattage input of your battery, you should be good to go. Comments, advice, throw them down below. Thanks.